Now to a disturbing story that we first brought to your attention Monday about a charity girls school in Liberia called More Than Me. It was created by an American woman to ostensibly protect girls from sexual exploitation. But founder Katie Mailer stepped down on Monday as the chief executive officer following a report that one of its top officials raped and abused some of the girls. Liberian Mackintosh Johnson, who co-founded and helped run the school, was charged with raping girls as young as 11 years old. He died of AIDS in early 2016, before a final trial could be held. To date, up to three of the ten girls who testified against him have tested positive for HIV. A lengthy investigative report about the case was jointly produced by Time magazine and ProPublica. For more on this disturbing story, I'm joined by Finley Young, the freelance journalist, lawyer and researcher who, thought, who authored this comprehensive report about the more than me school, the alleged abuse of the girls there. He joins me from our New York studios. Mr. Young, welcome to Africa 54. Thanks for having me. Um, let, let's start off with Kate resigning yesterday, but really what's next? for justice for those young girls? Well, you know, this is a complicated story. Um, it's 13,000 words long, so it's hard to compress. But, but really, there were 10 girls who, were, uh, who testified against Johnson in court. But charity documents and our reporting suggests that many more were probably his victims. One of those 10 girls tested positive. So obviously, at this time, it's really important that those girls, however they get it, receive the care and support that, that they need. Although obviously as Johnson has, has died, there will never be a chance for a, a full retrial following the, following the hung verdict in the first case. You know, uh, Finlay, this is quite a, a, a sort of eye-opening story for so many charities that are in Africa and other parts of the world. What, who scrutinizes these organizations? Who will bring this kind of charity to an account? Well, we've seen the Liberian government respond very strongly to the reporting in just the four or five days since it went live. And that includes the film as well, which I think has been widely viewed in Liberia. I think that there's a combination of different factors involved. It involves donors, those who have supported and empowered more than me, who in turn empower Johnson. Um, and then there's also in Liberia the scrutiny that comes from government and the extent to which different ministries, both in terms of accreditation, in terms of quality control, um, can be involved in making sure that non-governmental organizations are, are working as they say they're working and are taking the requisite care to make sure that the children they're purporting to help are not endangered. So what's next for Katie? Jail? <laughs> um, I think it's hard to say. And what accountability means in this story is really complicated and it's not something that our story speaks to. We just sought to establish exactly what happened on the ground based on as much reporting as we could do. I think that certainly what's been encouraging is that the organization has apologized and said it's profoundly sorry to the girls and conceded that it failed them on the ground, which is not something they were willing to do when we interviewed them in advance with full disclosure about what we were going to report. And I think that they have taken steps since 2014 to increasingly safeguard the girls, but right now, there are a number of inquiries taking place in Liberia, both from the Liberian government and also internal to more than me, um, to really establish and fully audit the organization and to ensure that its, its processes are in place to really keep children safe. Well, you broke this story and it's spreading. I mean, it's kind of trending right now in Liberia, but it is worrying as a parent and even for a country like Liberia that just came out of civil war. So much pain on such young girls. How does somebody explain something like this? And then Kate Maya has been awarded. Are those awards going to be taken away? What action can really be taken to compensate these girls? Well, obviously that's a question for authorities in Liberia. Um, for us, we report the facts and then hopefully the appropriate action is taken. It's a hugely disturbing story. It was immensely difficult to report. Um, but it also reflects this particular period in Monrovia, where More Than Me, the charity, started up. In that time, there was very lax um, oversight of a number of different organizations who were operating in Liberia. And really a sense that, because of the struggles following the conflict, that any help that could be given would be gratefully accepted. And I think that that's beginning to change 
as, as as time has passed since the conflict now. But but yeah, it certainly speaks to, to scrutiny. It speaks it speaks to issues of justice, and it speaks also massively to the idea of transparency and how can international organisations operating in complicated contexts really um, be held accountable and and be made to be transparent about the work that they are doing. Finley, thank you so much for your investigative reporting. Thank you for having me. Finlay Young is a freelance journalist, lawyer and researcher.